This will be the review for May 10th. First up, ZAYO, gap down off of earnings, huge miss, bad news, yada yada. Uh, no trade is to be taken there. VOD, Vodafone, gave a nice five minute hammer candle setup here on a gap up. Looks like a gap and go type of setup. Jumped in on a break above, stop loss just below, and worked out fairly well. Next up here, SLV, uh, got in on this dip down here. Uh, held above my level there and trailed it out the rest of the day. As you can see, this trend line kind of trailed down uh, throughout the day, failed to break above. Nothing really to do there. It may roll over tomorrow. I considered holding it overnight, but uh, it's not really my style, so we'll see what happens if it, if it does anything. Uh, next up, HD Home Depot, opened low, broke, ran straight up and broke above my level here. Consolidated, held through this chop here, not too much uh, worry there, and trailed me out up here. Didn't really justify the risk that I took in this trade, but it ended up working out to give me some profit. And next up here is DDD 3D Systems. Uh, looks like this note's a little messed up here. Um, took two trades on this one, opening five minute green hammer here, broke above my level, jumped in, stop loss just below the breakout level here as you can see, ran straight up to my target, took me out for a decent little gain there, first the risk. Um, next up here we had first consolidation flag right here. I could have taken, I considered it, but I didn't have the confidence to go ahead and jump in. I wanted to see some price action above here, so once it broke above, gave me an indecision candle, I was waiting and watching to see the next green over green break, and it confirmed off my moving average and VWAP. So that told me there was plenty of strength there to go ahead and take it, possibly for a new high. Broke straight through here and ran up, gave me another decent gain there, 57 cents. So overall, uh, there were four windows and four winners, and one did not trigger.